Tonight, Congressman Tim Ryan of Ohio. Congressman, great to have you with us tonight. I know you're on the correct side of this issue with the workers, but it really now is a, a, a determination and a decision that has to be made by the president. The president's looking at this executive order to raise the minimum wage for about two million federal workers. Your thoughts on that? Do you think it would get the ball rolling across the board and make it easier to get a, a, a full minimum wage hike done? Your thoughts on this, sir? Well, I think at some, at some point, because it's going to reframe the argument, it's going to bring the argument to the forefront of the national debate, we're going to be stuck in the House. There's no way John Boehner's going to bring up a minimum wage bill, although, as my, uh, my colleague mentioned in the last segment, you know, President Bush and other then moderate, now we see as moderate Republicans, were saying, hey, this is something that we need to do. So I think it can help reframe the debate, cast uh, front and center for us to have this national discussion. And this discussion, Ed, is going to be about family values. That's what the minimum wage is about. That's yeah. what these issues are about. They're about family values and the minimum wage is uh, front and center in that, that debate. Well, since the mid-1960s, if minimum wage had kept up with the rate of inflation, it'd be just a little over $22 an hour right now. We're talking 725 right. an hour right now. I don't know what 10, 10 an hour would do, but it would seem to me that they could go at least halfway as to where it would be had it kept up with inflation. If Boehner's not going to do right. anything, what, what options do you have and how big of a campaign issue is this? Well, that's why I think the president has to act, and he has to act boldly. And then we've got to obviously use this as an issue uh, throughout this year and see how it plays in the fall. And we've got to energize the base. And this is one of those issues. But we've got to talk about it. Too many times we've shied away from it. And we, I think we all agree there's got to be a way to uh, slowly put this in place. We don't want to drop it on a business person tomorrow morning. Uh, but we do got to get it in place. And we've got to make sure that it ramps up and that the average American, that, that as we make these political arguments, that the average American recognizes that there is a level of unfairness unfairness if you work 30 or 40 hours a week and you're still living in poverty that's not the american way that's not the american dream if you work hard you play by the rules you live a good and decent life you raise your family properly you work hard you should not live in poverty in the united states we're the wealthiest country in the history of this planet by far and and this is a small small ask i think and the economy will adjust and will continue to move forward but it's about demand side Ed. Yeah. that's the difference we've got to move away from the supply side economics yeah. trickle down cut taxes for the top one somebody in Warren, ohio get a crumb that falls off the table or do we give average people money in their pocket to go out and buy cars homes and make investments into the economy well disposable income but you know is really what is going to move this economy you know and this just isn't restricted to our borders uh at the world economic forum in davos switzerland pope francis spoke again about economic inequality and what he said uh, telling business leaders in a letter I ask you to ensure that humanity is served by wealth and not ruled by it. I, I mean, this is helping the Democrats and the progressives keep the discussion alive and coming at it from a religious vantage point. I mean, doesn't this help? I mean, doesn't this heighten the awareness uh, 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 in, in, in different communities in this country? Well, I love this new pope. I'll tell you, he can just keep talking as far as I'm concerned. And I hope he comes to America soon and drives his message home uh, to the American Catholic community and the American people. I think that would be that would be huge. But him talking about this and talking about it in a global level, you were talking about uh, the, uh, the trade agreement with Japan and Vietnam and other countries. Yeah, that is what we're talking about, lifting people up in these other countries so that they're not being abused as workers, and our workers here aren't losing their jobs. There's mm -hmm. a way to do this in a global way, and America's got to lead that charge because we're the most powerful economy in the world. Congressman Tim Ryan, Ohio, great to have you with us. Appreciate your time tonight, sir. Thanks so much. Always.